Hello, my name is Camino Lopez. I'm a PhD student at University of Salamanca and teacher at UOC, Open University of Catalonia. I'm glad for spending this time with all of you and I would like to tell you about our paper called Scales for Measuring Internet Addiction in COVID-19 Times. I have been researching about internet addiction for a few years and we have discovered that time of exposure is the main factor to measure how possible is to suffer an internet addiction. But the time that we spend off internet is very different nowadays than a few months ago because the pandemic period we are living. So, if the time in internet had changed during the pandemic period in our houses, is it possible to measure this time in the same way that we used to measure it? Are still valid to all the scales? Time is a variable with different applicable scales. We can measure it as the total time a person spends on the internet or the perceptions they have of it, or like a compulsion behavior. But is time the only defining variable of an internet addiction? Let's remember that the addiction or excessive use of the internet is considered a behavioral addiction without substance. So, there are other criteria besides time of exposure that can set a light on the subject. Therefore, the answer is no. Time is not the only defining variable of addiction since there are other variables related to compulsive or addictive behaviors such as loss of control, concern, conflicts, withdrawal symptoms, coping. Now, the debate is open again, as the pandemic has prompt a number of imposed changes in people's habits and behaviors with respect to internet use and access. At this time of COVID-19, where internet access time has increased so significantly. This variable no longer has the same context in which it was previously evaluated and therefore its weight and relevance must be redefined as a criterion for detecting internet addiction. The time variable is present in most of the main scales for measuring internet addiction, such as OCS, HIPUS, PUS, PRE, EAT, MMP2, PU, UPNT30, etc. What scale or scales of measurements of internet addiction in adolescents can be used effectively in this context of the COVID? The only scale that has addressed their characteristics has been the following views. The correlation between Swiss uh, and time spent online was not high in absolute terms, indicating that Zeus is more than just spending a lot of time online. This has been the scale chosen for the preparation of the Spanish government report aimed at finding out how addictions have involved during the months of March to June of the COVID-19 pandemic. In conclusion, at the time people spend in front of devices today is enormous, especially since the beginning of the pandemic and in particular during confinement. Schools closed and education continue over the internet. This has meant that young people had to be in front of a, co a computer, tablet, or cell phone with internet access, not only during the mandatory daily hours of schooling, but also during homework. Their ticks also being their spare 
space for socialization. The time of internet use should no longer be a variable to measure a subject's addiction. In this context, it seems that the CEO's scale can be an interest bet to make the appropriate measurements to control the increase of abusive or addictive use of the internet in this area. Thanks a lot for your time.